All right, we're going to be installing the oil pump uh, with the new chain, and uh, it's a new sucker piece right here as well. The screen. Here's your part number for the chain itself: five zero zero three seven one one seven. It's Ewe's chain. It's got a one piece missing link. And basically, to install it, I have to roll it in. Um, so here I'm pointing out that the uh, where the sprocket is. So you have the your double roller timing chain just behind there. Um, and uh, so yeah, basically I'm going to hold it up on the left side of the sprocket and spin the engine over to get the chain to crawl up into it. Um, otherwise, you would have the front cover off and you just kind of uh, sneak it through there. But with the missing link, it makes it nice and easy to roll the chain in. All right, ready to roll the chain in here. So you can see this is your uh, main timing chain. Here's that uh, guide that we were, uh, installed earlier. And this is where the oil pump chain will ride on. So that should get my finger on here. If I was able to hold it into position, as I said, turn the engine over, it'll just rock its way up. I think it's working. There we go. You can see it's coming down now on the other side. So that's how you roll the new chain in. A little bit of bailing wire. Keep these two pieces together. couple of things you get your pump here right you want to put a new sucker on here we could do that after we could do it now I'm actually gonna I'll do it after because it'll have to give me a nice firm base um, this is a machine surface I don't believe there's any sealant on here I'm gonna take it apart um, maybe it's a bad idea but I'm gonna put a little bit of anaerobic sealant here uh, it won't hurt anything anything that leaks out is just gonna get dissolved in the oil anyhow Stalls like so, so this is where your gear goes on to. So as you can see, there's a long bolt, two short ones, and all you do is uh, actually this one I'm not gonna install yet because the little uh, thingy's gotta go here. And this is where you take your clip goes in this orientation and you shove it under here like so very nice and then you can see where that keeps this tensioner this guide nice and tight up against the chain so this has a little wave wash on it which is a little spring washer and here's this guy so this is the front side of the pump this is the back side so you have this little guy here which will coincide with this little guy here so but I do want to make sure so normally you know we're taking this guy off this has to be all loose but thankfully because we have a missing link we are able to just install this guy here this guy gets torqued about 26 newton meters same with these guys 26 25 newton meters We are perfectly installed here. We can see here where the guide, there's a little tooth on the guide here. It's kind of in the middle. And let's roll the engine over. Oh, 
oil pump installed now let's get the sucker on here here the screen goes on this way this face is up and nice and pliable because the old ones the rubber starts getting hard all set remember we have to get the oil pressure sensor installed here too That is the oil pump, oil drain, oil, oil chain, and uh, oil level sensor install. Time to set the upper oil pan back on, and I'm going to be using this uh, gasket maker again. This is an anaerobic. Never used one of these for an upper oil pan. That's what it says it's good for, so we'll give it a try. It is a machine surface and looks to have a very nice contact when I lay it on top of the other. So all we could do is hope for the best.